Hi, I'm Rebecca Calvert with Calvert Design Group. And due to COVID-19, we were not able to physically attend a site visit for a daycare that we have under construction down in Florida. So to show us the extent of framing that was complete and to supplement us with information to perform a virtual site visit, the general contractor had the building scanned by a scanning service. And this is our walkthrough of the building. So where we're standing now is at the front door of the building. This is an interior scan only, so it doesn't show the exterior. Um, this is the vestibule area that you're looking at right here. We're at the front door of the building, and this leads to a door that also goes into the reception area. Now this separate vestibule area is set up for security purposes. Um, any visitor can come into this vestibule area, but to get beyond the reception door, you've got to have a key code or you've got to be buzzed in. This larger opening off to the left is just a part of the storefront system that will go in later, so it's a full piece of glass. And then as you turn to the left, what you'll see is another window frame framed out here. And that is a view window leading into the principal's office that we'll look at in a minute. So let's go into the reception. So as we enter into the reception area, what you'll see as you, as you look up, up towards the ceiling is that the framer has um, created the tray ceiling up above. This is a really high ceiling with a trade accent around it. And the silver cans are where, so, um, where light fixtures are going in. So these are the can fixtures for lights. So this is a really large, so as we turn around and look at where we came from, you'll see that this door is what we came through and that that's the reception and that that's the vestibule. So let's go into the principal's office for a minute. It's right here off of the reception. So in the principal's office, what you'll see is we've got a opening for the window to look out so that they have a view out into the parking lot area. Then they also have a window here that their desk will face and that, fe that faces the vestibule then as you turn further and go to the door that we came through, this door will have a window on it so that they'll also be able to view the reception desk. Now, the room just to the left of that office is what we call a staff room or a break room. It also holds a lot of resources for the teachers. So this back wall here will have millwork and a coffee maker and a small fridge. Um, this wall here to the left will be floor to ceiling cabinets and shelves, which is why this horizontal wood blocking is in place to help stabilize the shelving and the millwork when it gets put in place. So as we approach the hallway to the school and the classroom built and the classrooms, what you'll see is we have two directions. We can go to the left, which has the infant classrooms and the toddlers, uh, or we can turn to the right, which is a longer hallway, which leads to the three, threes and four-year-olds, as well as a five-year-old preschool classroom at the end. So to begin with, we'll hit the infants and some of the extra rooms on the infant hallway. So we've got an adult restroom set aside on the left, which is right next to this reception office, which makes it for easy access. We have a laundry room here off to the right. And the laundry room also holds the electrical closets as well as a mop sink. So these are the electrical closets. And as you turn and look here, you'll see the plumbing is in place for a mop sink for in the future. Um, this temporary sink has just been set up by the contractor uh, for cleaning purposes because of COVID. Uh, the subcontractors and everybody on site can wash their hands here. 
So going back into the hallway, we'll come down this room. There's also a really small room next to the laundry room. It's hard to really see what's going on in that room. There's really nothing going on in this room. This is a mother's room. It's there for nursing mothers that want to have privacy. So it really is just um, a small room with a rocking chair or comfortable chair and a table and an outlet so that anyone who's nursing and wants privacy can go in there. Let's go back out into the hallway. So this is leading into the infant classroom. This infant classroom worked out really nicely. It's got two really large windows, kind of went a little bit too far. There we go. This classroom worked out really nicely. It's got two really large windows on each side. You'll see throughout the school, what you'll see is a lot of horizontal wood blocking. Those are usually where the cubbies are going to be going. Um, if it's not cubbies, it's other millwork. Then as you get towards the rear of the classroom, you'll see another window opening here and the door opening here. Um, this U-shaped configuration is set up for change tables and for diaper cubbies up above. So this is a low wall framed so it's set and ready for cabinets to come in next to it and butt up against it and change tables like change diaper areas will go on top and then up here this framed out area is a bulkhead that will have diaper cubbies attached to it as well so that as a teacher changes diapers they don't have to go to the classroom cubbies to get the baby's diapers these classrooms also have a shared wall that has a view window between the two classrooms to help the teachers communicate back and forth as needed. And then there is also more plumbing at the far wall, which is for cabinets and food prep area. So that's uh, where they'll make the bottles and have the mini fridge to keep anything chilled that needs to be chilled. So we're gonna cut through the change table area to get to the adjacent classroom. So you'll see it's the exact mirror version of the first one. Uh, you've got a door on the far side. You've got plumbing here for millwork. Um, you've got the, the shared window between the classrooms. And then as we go towards the exit door, we'll take a look backwards so you can see what the classroom looks like when you enter it. So this is the view of the classroom as you enter into the classroom door. It is a narrow classroom and I, the intent is for um, cribs to be lined up here on the left, cubbies on the right, and then play rugs in the middle. So we'll go back out into the hallway and go across the hall to toddler classrooms. So you'll see the toddler classrooms have a similar setup. They've got a U-shaped wall set up for millwork cabinets to come in, as well as a bulkhead up above for diaper cubbies to go in. The difference, the significant difference with the toddlers is now there's the component of toilets in this change room area. Uh, this will be a potty training age group and so we've got toilets as well as change tables all in the same enclosed room so that regardless of whether a child is learning to potty train or it needs a diaper changed everything is in the same controlled environment so this is the view into the classroom uh, up against this wall here up against this wall here is where the wall cabinets will go and the base cabinets. This is the hand wash area for the teacher and the kids for when their hands are dirty from crafts or just prior to snack and they need to wash hands, they'll be doing it here. 
You've got a nice triple window, a nice wide window of, to view outside as well as a door. We're going to go through the hallway to get to, we're going to go through the wall to get to the adjacent classroom. So let's go back to the entry door here. So there's an entry door to the classroom as well as a view window into the classroom. This particular client wanted view windows into all of the classrooms. So you'll see this is a CMU building on the outside. That is because it's located in Florida. And then there's wood furring strips on the inside face of the wall for drywall to be adhered to and cabinets for drywall and cabinets to be adhered to. So this is another view of that change table area. It's U-shaped. You can see these dark areas where the sinks are going to go. Um, here we were able to get, it's a corner classroom, so we were able to get two pairs of windows in. We've got a pair here on the right next to their exit door, and then a window straight ahead that looks into the parking lot area. So now to turn around and go back where we came from. Now we're back in the hallway and we're headed back to the reception area. So from the reception area, this is a two, two, two year old classrooms side by side. You'll see um, the underlying theme with this school is we've got the door and then a really large window or view window next to the door. We've left space in between the door and the windows for bulletin boards, light switches, intercom systems, telephones, um, and fire alarm. So if we go to the door, I guess the scan didn't let us go through that door. So as we go into the classroom, Here we go. So as we go into the two-year-old classroom, you'll see that this is the view of what you'll see as you enter this classroom. We did as big a window as we could fit on this narrow wall, as well as the exit door. This horizontal framing, again, is for cubbies to be installed later. So it's just extra stabilization for heavy millwork. On the right hand side, as you enter the door, is where cabinets will go for food preparation, um, hand washing, and a mini fridge. Here's a similar view of that change table area. But this is because they're older kids now, they also have toilets in this, so it's a larger room than the earlier versions. So there's two toilets as well as two change tables and two sinks so that each classroom has plenty of facilities and each teacher has plenty of space to clean up kids as needed. So what you'll see as you're standing here is that you're able to see most of the classroom while you're standing at the change table. You can't really see that too well, but as somebody is standing here, changing a diaper, they're able to see the majority of the classroom. It's not the best example of that. So as we come through the classroom and we get to the second two-year-olds, you'll see it's a mirror image of the earlier classroom. Uh, you can't see it too well. Let's zoom in here. You can see that it starts to take shape that there's a door and a view window from the hallway. And as you enter in the door, this is the view you'll get of the classroom as you come in. Cubbies will be on the right, the hand wash sink is on the left, and the diaper change area is in the far distance by the window and the door. So as we move on into the hallway, and get to some older classrooms. You'll see the underlying theme here 
every you'll see the standardized practice of every classroom has the same door and same window combination and then as you enter into this classroom you see it's a bigger wider classroom there's more kids going into this classroom the change tables are gone now and they've been replaced with actual restrooms so both of these doors are doors to restrooms um, this is the general contractor's work table where he's laid out plans to review and discuss with his subs This larger window in the distance is part of the storefront to the front entry area. Then we have a door and a regular window off to the side. As we approach the far end of the room, we'll, um, can't really see it, but there's a porch out here outside this classroom. So we'll turn around and now if you're a student, or a teacher in the classroom looking towards the hallway, this is what you'll see. You'll see your cubbies on the left, the doorway, the window, restrooms on the right with a sink area. You'll also see in these classrooms, you'll see this re recessed wall area, and that is for uh, cot storage. So the teachers just tuck the cots into these wing wall areas. So we're going to go through the wall to get to the other classroom. Um, so you see it's very similar to the other classroom, almost identical. Um, as you're in the classroom looking towards the hallway, you'll see the cubbies are on the left. The door, the entry door is here in the distance. There's a view window right here next to the door. And then restrooms are on the right hand side and this wing wall area is for cot storage. As we turn around and look into the classroom from the entry door, let's get as far as we can get. There we go. So as you stand at the door to the classroom, this is the view that you'll see entering into this room. Well, let's go across the hall. Have we done this one yet? Yes, we have. We've already done that classroom. Let's go down the hall a little ways. This is a second adult restroom that is down the hall from the reception area. So this is one that's just closer for some of the teachers and parents as they're visiting the older kids. come here and go to this classroom. Now you'll see this is another older kids classroom. It's a wider room um, with plenty of space. So as you enter into this classroom, you'll see again, there's cubbies here where this horizontal wood is, is where cubbies will be going. There is, as you come into the classroom, you'll see here where this horizontal wood is, is where cabinets will be going and a sink for hand washing. You come deeper in. These two doorways are for the restrooms. So these are the dedicated restrooms for this classroom. And a recess in the wall just beyond the restrooms will be where the cot storage is for this particular classroom. And a nice big window opening and a door. Um, you can see there's nothing really built here yet. That's where the playground will be in the future. You can see through this window a little bit of a shade porch um, here in the backyard and there's also an outdoor drinking fountain under this shade porch. This is a Florida location and so outdoor water is required and shade is, is preferred. So this is from the window looking back towards the hallway. You can see the classroom entry door and the view window of the wall. So we'll go back to the hallway. We're almost at the end of our tour. So this, this last room here on the right, which is near, really narrow, is the warming kitchen. 
Now there's a difference between a warming kitchen and a commercial kitchen. And it's worth noting at this point that this is a warming kitchen. The, the significant difference is for code purposes, a commercial kitchen will be a kitchen that cooks raw food and a warming kitchen is a kitchen that just heats pre-cooked food like chicken nuggets or tater tots or green beans, um, anything where you're not cooking raw meat but you're just heating it up and serving it because it was pre-cooked um, is considered a warming kitchen. It's significantly less expensive to build a warming kitchen. So if you've got the choice and your menu doesn't require the cooking of raw meat, stick with a warming kitchen. You'll save yourself tens of thousands of dollars um, just by differentiating what's in your menu. So here we've got a big window in our kitchen. This is where the sink will go so that when somebody's doing food prep, they've got a nice view out the window. Um, further down the room, there will be a three compartment sink here off to the left. You'll see that there's a floor drain already in place. A lot of times contractors cover these floor drains up until everything is in place so that construction debris doesn't get into the drain. There's also another window here that we'll be looking out into the playground area. It took me out of the kitchen there. So as I turn around and look back, you just see it's a really long, narrow galley kitchen is what we call these because it's long and narrow. Um, generally, a galley kitchen is the most cost effective use of wall space. Um, if you've got extra open wall, if you've got extra open floor area that's not really serving a purpose, then you're really just paying money to have a wide kitchen instead of an efficient kitchen. So a lot of our kitchens are long and narrow for that purpose. So as we come out of the kitchen, you'll see this small closet area to the left. This is the sprinkler riser room. This is where the water pipe, this is where the sprinkler riser comes in and where the water line comes in for the building. It's a separate exterior room so that the fire marshal can get to it whenever there's a fire. So as we go back into the hallway, you can look outside a little bit. I don't know if you can get any closer. You get pretty closer. This is a shade porch that we've done for this client. Um, you can see these are the four columns of the shade porch structure. And these silver boxes are recessed can lights that are in the ceiling of the shade porch. This particular jurisdiction required that we do um, a variety of roof pitches along the perimeter of the building. And this client, because it's in Florida, asked for shade porches. So this kind of served two purposes at once. It gave us variety for our roof structure and also allowed for a shaded area for the kids outside. You can see there is some construction going on across the street as well. All of this area that this building is being built in is being newly developed right now. So this is the older classroom. This is the five-year-old classroom. It's got two restrooms off to the right hand side. It's much wider than some of the others. This is the corner room and so it's got two windows that face the front of the building as well as a window and door on the left hand side for the exiting purposes. Um, these front windows face the future parking lot um, which is still not paved or graded or paved yet. All we've got outside is a driveway. So when you're in the classroom looking back, this is what you see. You see um, your cubbies here on the right hand side and your restrooms on the left and your door and your view window from the hallway. So this is what's considered a framing inspection. It means that all of the roof trusses are in place. You can see this plywood, that's the sheathing for the roof above. The piping is in place for sprinklers. 
Some areas had the larger ductwork in place for the mechanical systems. The smaller duct isn't in place yet, but these larger trunk pieces are. Uh, we're in Florida, and so there are a lot of tie downs as well. Let me show you a picture of a tie down. It went a little too far. Uh, there we go. There's some tie downs. These silver things are tie downs for the trusses. As we come out this classroom, I wanted to show you just one more thing that's worth noting. And this is done intentionally. Um, when we first started, when I first started working in childcare, I wanted to create interest in hallways, um, but every childcare owner that I talked to expressed their concerns for visibility of children. And so I have come to learn the error of my ways on that. Um, so the, the point of having one long, narrow hallway is that when you come out of the classroom with a child, whether you're a teacher or a parent, you can see that child. They have a tendency to run down the hall ahead of the adults. And so you can see that little kid all the way down the hall and you never lose eye contact with them. So this is one long hallway that, spread, that extends the length of the building. This is one long hallway that extends the width of the building. Um, towards the end is where the reception area is. And we're back where we started. All right, so this is just a typical framing inspection. I know it's overwhelming when you haven't, when you're not familiar with looking at a building when it's framed with no drywall on it. But this is a typical inspection that we do. It's We're just looking for the framing members. We're looking for the hold downs. We're looking at the truss members to see that they're all placed properly. We are looking at the hardwired portions of the building, like we're looking at are all the lights in place, are all of the outlets in the right location, and are, are all of the toilet plumbing and water and sink faucet plumbing in place. So that's the extent of this tour. Hope you liked it. I hope you found it um, exciting to see something going up and under construction. Uh, as you consider building a daycare center or another commercial building, um, when your contractor talks about your framing being complete, this is the this is what your framing should look like. It's completed. It's a cleaned up building, and this contractor is doing a great job of communicating to us, despite the fact that we can't physically be there.